So I've said on previous occasions, and I still stand by this to this day, and I will forever stand by this. Yeah. Right. There are parents yeah, who have children and they live in a dangerous area. Let's take Edmonton. Yeah, for example, yeah? Edmonton is quite a dangerous area. Yeah, when you get time, just Google murders in Edmonton. Yeah, plenty of murders, plenty of stabbings, plenty of shootings. Man have been killed on top of my estate on New Year's Day and stuff like that. Yeah, man have been killed in front of the police station. Yeah, man's ran in the supermarket and the supermarket people have dashed him out onto the street. Plenty of man have been murdered in Edmonton. Yeah, and from Edmonton and stuff like that. Anyway, so there are parents. Yeah, N nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are parents who, they have children who live in a dangerous area like Edmonton, Tottenham, Hackney, Brixton, Peckham, yeah? And they worry for their children's safety, yeah? That's cool, yeah? No matter where you live, yeah? There's always the element of, you know, children can get hurt, you know? It might not even be gang violence. There might just be some nutcases around or whatever, innit, yeah? So parents are always going to worry about their children's safety, whatever, innit, yeah? But there are certain parents out here, right? They worry about their children's safety and they don't take no action yeah, at all. Yeah? They sit with their peers, friends, family, whatever, and they complain about the, the, the problems in the black community. Yeah? Or, or why do you them kill each other? Why do you them this? Why do you them that? Yeah? Cool. There are some parents, yeah, they do take a bit of action yeah, and they actually get their asses up and they go down to maybe the local police station, maybe Tottenham, yeah? maybe House of Parliament or House of Commons, wherever, innit, yeah? and they will stand outside with their plaques and they will complain about, you know, um, MPs and that and the government not doing more to keep the young black children safe. Yeah? Now, I made a video about this, made countless videos about this, but there was one woman who stuck out to me, um, who stuck out in particular to me, and she basically said, it's a black woman, obviously, she said, the MPs, right, they keep their children safe, yeah? Their children are middle class, whatever, innit? Yeah? And, you know, if a middle class child was murdered, let's say one of the MPs' children was murdered, oh, there would be craziness, yeah? Like, you know, they would actually put more police officers on the streets or whatever, innit? Yeah? Then she also said, if... And when a young working class black child is killed, yeah, trying to remember what she said exactly, right? There ain't no fuss. It's just, oh, another another black working class child has been murdered. Yeah. I don't think they think like that. And even if they do, what is that woman doing to protect her children? Yeah. So it's easy for parents to sit around in their little community, yeah, their little mum's net or whatever, mum's net forum or whatever, and they're, you know, talking amongst each other. They'll moan about, you know, black on black crime and, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, how dangerous it is on the streets or whatever, innit? Yeah. Then you've got others that will go down to House of Parliament and Tottenham Police Station and protest, yeah, and make up noise and that, innit? Yeah. They'll do that, but they're missing the point. The main thing they need to do is take action within themselves. The main thing they need to do, yeah, is move their children out of the dangerous area. Yeah? If you want to keep your parent watching this right now, yeah, on the replay or live, yeah, if you've got a child and your child is in a dangerous area, you feel like your child is under threat every time he or she leaves their house, yeah, particularly the boys, obviously, and for obvious reasons, yeah. If you have a parent, if you have a child and you feel like every time your child leaves the house, yeah, there's a potential that he or she will not return. Yeah, you have to move out of the dangerous area. How do you move out of the dangerous area? Well, you can't rely on the government, yeah, to rehouse you. Yeah, so what you do is you save your money and you move out. Yeah, it probably won't be in London. Yeah, but you might have to move out to maybe Essex, Milton Keynes, Northampton, somewhere on the outskirts of London. Yeah, maybe London, Colney, or or St Albans, or somewhere like that. Yeah, you gotta save up your money and move out. Yeah, you gotta be proactive. Yeah, really and truly, they're being reactive because if they was proactive, they would take different steps. Yeah, so they wouldn't even be in that position. Now, touch upon that in a minute. Yeah, but all this sitting around on mum's net and all these forums and protesting outside the House of Parliament and talking about all this systematic racism—that's not that—that's not keeping your children safe. Yeah, you need to move your children out of the dangerous area. You have a duty of care as a parent, yeah, to move your children out of the danger zone if you feel like they're under threat, yeah? You want to take the easy route. It's easy to just get up one day, oh, 
Oh, 20 men or you know, 20 women, yeah, boom, fly down the House of Parliament, yeah, bam, make up noise for three, four hours, and then boom, go back to go back to square one, go back to their yard and do nothing. That's easy, that's a one-day job. No? And what happens is when they fail like that, because they know they know deep down nothing's gonna happen, right? They know deep down they ain't gonna get any results from that protesting or this, that, or whatever, innit? Yeah. What they're gonna do is they're gonna sit back and say, see, look. We protested, yeah, we made up noise, and the government still don't want to help us. Nah, fam, don't rely on the government, you know. Rely on yourself. You, as a parent, you have a duty of care to look after your children, not the government. How dare you rely on the government and rely on the police to keep your children... Obviously, the police are here to keep the children safe as much as they can in here, but ultimately, it's down to the parents. Yeah? You will not need to worry about your children's safety if you're living in if you're living in Wiltshire, yeah, or the Cotswolds, yeah, or Gerrard's Cross, yeah, because you put your child in a safe environment. Yeah, but you will be fearful of your child's safety if you live in Tottenham, Hackney, Brixton, Peckham, Stockwell. You will, and the only person who's put your child there is you. 